Hi guys, and welcome back to our podcast, Travel Travels. Um, I'm Sean, and this is Ollie. And yeah, we do a podcast where we talk about our travel travels, your travel travels, and Sean's ability, inability to say travel troubles. Yeah, and the. And also, we we used to tell you what episode it was, but at this point, I don't have a clue. Is that Thir- about thirteen, maybe twelve or thirteen. Yeah, yeah I'm lucky for some. <laughs> I think it's thirteen next week, so it's twelve this week. Uh, I think yeah. that's for three months. Yeah, yeah. And it's been so successful so far. I think we've got about. Sean was just complaining that his mic's annoying him because it's tickling his chin, and I'm like, welcome, well, to, like... welcome to life with you. I can imagine it's like there and a little bit irritating. Oh, it's just yeah. This right, no, sorry guys. You're going to completely mess with the audio now. It's already messing with the audio, it's scratching it off myself. There we go. Don't ask. It's perfect. Okay. Right, I feel better now because it's scratching against my beard. It's like. You know how we spoke about ADHD last week? Last week. Sean also has touch of the tizzle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, yeah, if things touching me can. Sensory overload. Can really annoy me. Mm. So, um. I just yeah, I was wearing this jumper today. I don't. I've got a new T-shirt underneath this jumper, and um, it's scratching me just here. I don't know what it is, but it's been doing it all day to me. It's probably the label. I, I, is there? A, I, 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 sorry, guys. Just don't mind me. What, no, what, there's nothing there. I don't know what it is. I've, I've tried. I've touched everything. I couldn't feel anything. But yeah, um, yeah. Just annoying in there. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I get very agitated with. Things touching us, but I look good in the jumper. This mm-hmm. is my colour. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't see it, just imagine someone who's really handsome in a really nice coloured jumper. <laughs> it's like a rusty orange colour. Yeah. Although Sean thinks it's closer to red now. It's nice. Sean or me also be slightly colour blind. <laughs> um, this is a friend of the podcast got us this for my birthday last year. Yeah. So yeah, thanks, friend of the podcast that we never slate on our show. Um, so this week. It's a funny week because... The last time we filmed this, we were starting our work week and this is the first day we've had off. So we're actually a day late on filming. Normally we film these on Tuesdays, yep, ready we for were, Thursdays. we were working yesterday. But we were working yesterday and I said, well, we haven't done anything this week. We can't do a travel podcast where we've done nothing yet again. So we said, well, we'll delay it a week and it just means it's more stress for editor Sean. And... Um, it means I get peace and quiet for the next 24 hours. 24 hours, I'm going to take that long to edit. But, um, yeah. Uh, so, we, what did we do this week? Worked. Worked? What and worked. We, and what and worked. We, and what did we do today? We went up to Carlisle. Yeah, uh, if you don't know, we're in the Lake District. In the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. That's right. Um, so, going to Carlisle is a big trip for us. It takes us... It takes us about two hours. Yeah, buses and... Whatnot. Waiting between two bus times and so on and so forth. We were quite lucky today, I suppose. But once we're in Carlisle, you're kind of like, right, you're here, you're staying here for four hours. Yeah. You have no other option unless you want to get two trains and a bus and a taxi, get, yeah, like sort of yeah. thing. It's you like, can get two two buses and uh, three buses as well. Yeah, it's but like, no. you're here till four. Yeah, okay. So um, we spent four hours in Carlisle. Um, yep. We did our usual. Um, every time we're in Carlisle, it's like McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have one here. Uh, yeah, it, I don't know if that's worse because if you have like a fast food, like, obviously we have no fast food here. Like we can't get Just Eat or no, Deliveroo. No. Um, so when we get the opportunity to have it, we normally have it. Yeah, but we go up to there like once every two months or something. Yeah. Penrith's the more dangerous one. To be fair, because it's closer. And there's not much, much in Much Henry. more other than a McDonald's. <laughs> a, yeah. But in Carlisle now, they have a lounge, which is quite cool. Yeah, it's a brand that's all over, like, down Sean's way. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't really seen it anywhere. So they're, like, they're called lounges. They're all different named lounges. Yeah. And um, you go in there, it's kind of like a cafe, but, like, I said, how do you explain it? Like a relaxed cafe sort of feel to it? Um, it's like a classy, it's like a, it's like a step up from a spoons, really. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's more relaxed. It's kind of like you have your brunch there. Kind yeah, of. yeah. We went past there and it was so, obviously it's brand new, so it's so busy, everyone was in there. There was the ladies outside drinking Bottle their wine. wine. It was like that sort of lunches, you know. Um, but yeah. Any, what would you recommend for Carlisle? Any, any good things to do in Carlisle or...? Leave. 
<laughs> oh, wow. no. um, there's a lot of like Polish food shops and stuff like that up there yeah which is cool we, we love that because we never went in it today though we no. never had time well we did but we didn't we didn't we went for a, with a walk didn't we yep we, we we were adventurous and walked to a B&M because we realised that they've shot the one in the city, the city centre we aren't really selling card to most people there's <sighs> it's a commuter like city really yeah it's like it's the biggest like town city to us other than Newcastle and yeah it's the biggest and, one in Cumbria is it yeah yeah and it's Cumbria's not very big for cities let's <laughs> just put it that way no. like you can't you can't think of any big you don't you don't you don't come to Cumbria for Carlisle or Penrith you come for the Lake District <laughs> yeah and you go there to get your sandwiches on the way or something like but that but when you live in the middle of nowhere yeah. you sometimes want trips to civilization so that's what we do we 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 go and get back in touch with society um by traveling up to Penrith or Carlisle every so often yeah because Keswick's not society Keswick's just tourists yeah it's a, it's a tourist town as much as it's shops it's just it's just it's tourists same with anywhere in the Lake District mm. anyway yeah um I think We've described Carlisle quite well. I haven't really <laughs> sold it. Like, I can't really count this podcast as um, things to do in Carlisle. Cause, um, charity shops. Yeah. Plenty of them. Charity shops. Uh, 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 the shops aren't bad at all, to be honest. Of, like, there's, a, there's a Primark, but it's not a good one. Primark there's, leaves a lot to be desired. I got a nice hoodie today. You'll see that on the podcast um, in the following weeks. Because, Probably, yeah. Because it's getting cold. <sighs> Yeah, it's quite a, there's a little market. The market's quite good, apparently. Like, it's, it is... is that two? There's, is it a two? There's, no, that's Wigton, which is what we see on the bus. I think that's a Tuesday market there. Oh, one thing we do need to talk about in Carlisle, though, huh. is the TK Maxx. Oh, it's freezing. It's the most cold. It's, if you want to go to the... It's hotter, TD, it's TK hotter TK outside than it is inside. It's, it's the weirdest thing I ever. feel sorry for the staff. It's like a fridge. <sighs> You go in there. There's girls buy behind the till with their full on winter jackets. Yeah, you want to buy a coat. I don't know why it is. <laughs> You're like, is it going to snow in here? It's like. It was nice during the summer. You bet it was cold during the summer, though. I remember. That's what I mean. Yeah. But it was nice during the summer because it was hot outside. Oh, I don't know what. TK Maxx is mad. So It's uh, like their air conditioning's stuck on permanently. I think it's because the roof is just kind of. Like, yeah, it it's outside, inside kind of building. It's like, a, it's, it's like a greenhouse, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the best way of describing it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get told off for not covering my own again. Ooh, who told you off? Bad. Oh. <laughs> so let's move on to our travel troubles about each other. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to jump in quickly and first because I know what her travel trouble is going to be about me. So I'm going to kind of edge her out. Yeah. I don't think you do. My travel trouble about Holly is the fact that she needs me to tell her if she needs a jacket outside. You should be used to this by now. <laughs> so... I am warm blooded. Holly is cold blooded. <laughs> We've been together for two and a half years. Sean still doesn't know this. And it's my. So if I don't take a big winter jacket out today, Holly's like, oh, I won't take mine. But she gets freezing cold. And I'm like, well, no, I'm finding this little jumper with Well, because you're really going, it's going to be 14 degrees outside. Yeah, 14 degrees. And you weren't warm, you were chittering. I wasn't chittering. I was like, eh, it's cold, but I'm dealing with it. Cause you were chittering. I, I wasn't as cold as you. You, you, were you. you were numb. Your fingers were going blue, you were that cold. And then it's my fault. Yeah, it is. Because you told me it'd be too hot to take my jacket out. I didn't say it was In a matter of words, yes, I said, really, it's 14 I'm not taking mine 14 out. 14 degrees outside. Like it's 14 degrees. I'm not, I'm not taking, taking my jacket out because I'm from Essex and I'm too good for a jacket. That's what it was. But you took a hat that you never wore. Because I wasn't that cold. You were that cold, though. I wasn't, though. Put, oh, put that on. Okay. I'd have also put the other oh, jacket I had I, oh, I bought on. Okay. So that was my problem. That's my child show. I was Holly. That's your, you were about to say that's my problem with you, not yeah, my, that's, my... <laughs> that's your problem. <laughs> not my problem with you. That's your problem just generally. No, no. See, 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 Sean. Holly gets cranky when she's cold, right? What? What's Sean's job? 
to stop Holly getting cranky. So what Sean should have done is said, no, actually, Holly, I think you should take your jacket. And you know the most ironic thing about this entire conversation is we slated your little sister for yeah, <laughs> not knowing That's that. why I mentioned it that way, because, yeah, my little sister last week's episode got... She didn't really comment much back on that, but uh, we're moving more on to that later when we talk about uh, guests of the podcast. Um, so, yeah guest of the podcast we do a little bit where people write in but it's just like oh, right, okay. my sisters lauren who gets slated <laughs> but we'll move on to that later so um so that was my problem with you prop okay my trouble trouble with you uh-huh. okay? um and my i'm gonna just do straight off the bat and just go from, and my thing that i liked about you is uh the, today you'd already planned what we're having to eat the next two days and normally i cook uh, but because you're working and today you're like oh, we're having this and we're having that and you're very p- decisive for the last couple of days and i like that it's, it's the first time you've been decisive in well since we've been together so it's been nice wow <laughs> wow and to be fair there was a backhand compliment <laughs> yeah. right there and to be fair you take that you indecisive <laughs> Um, last week you made tacos for us and we had like this oh, so good as you know we're on our bed right now it's, this backdrop isn't real it's, 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 it's a street <laughs> we're not in the mountains we're on our bed and there isn't much room in this room but we've got two little trays and we had like I uh, made like a picky Mexican yeah, dinner yeah and it was like pick them we had it on the bed and it was like, quite cute romantic and it was really tasty and you decided to make it again tomorrow so yes that's my positive that even though i don't the weekly food shop and i didn't even remember to put mints on the shop <laughs> oh yeah you forgot it but we got it today we picked up the extra mints yep. uh, so that's my positive and negative mm-hmm. go on then what is my negative with you yeah go on so you think it's going to be the jacket? I think you- <laughs> I've had one stored for about four days, and I need to keep remembering myself every really? time. Every time that I wake up, what's Sean's negative? What is it? What's he done? What's he done to annoy me this week? So you know how Sean mentioned that he he makes dinner. What do you need to eat off of when you make dinner? Plates. Mhm. Yeah. What's Sean allergic to doing? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> plates <laughs> yeah 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 i'll take them in we have we have a full operating kitchen that sean works in with a dishwasher that all you need to do is put it on a rack put it in ta-da in about three minutes and out and that's it that is the only you know that is involved with it if i'm not on shift i don't bring them in, in the kitchen i'm like sean can you take them into the kitchen? I don't think it's difficult. I'm not asking them to wash them by hand. I'm asking them to put them in a rack and put them in a machine for the machine to do the job. And he will procrastinate for days. <laughs> not hours, days. There was one point this week, I was like, I'm not doing them. I'm not taking them in. It lasted about 12 hours before I brought them in. And I was like, I guess I'm doing the dishes again then, John, yeah? <laughs> Even though I'm already finished my shift and you're still in the kitchen, which you're in all day. But you can't take two minutes before your chef to do the dishes. Okay, I'll do the dishes more often. <laughs> There's two plates sitting right there. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, it's fine for Sean to wash normal looking plates, but as soon as we use a bowl, it's like... I don't know how to clean you. I can't, I can't. It's a different... It's not a flat surface. It's just... It's just I normally, Mind blown. The, the, the funny thing is, I normally wash them by hand as well. I'll normally just go. Yeah, even home. though you don't have to. So, so I'll, normally, if they're left, I'll go and wash them by Where hand. Where we are in dinner. our building, it is the same amount of paces to the kitchen as it is to the staff kitchen. Yeah, and yeah. But it's about 13 if you want to know, guys. Wow, you <laughs> sad sack. <laughs> so uh, so Sean's, Sean's negative this week is procrastination. Do I have a positive this week? Yeah, only- because Sean's positive this week. Sean, if you know Sean in day-to-day life, whether you're family or friends or unfortunate acquaintances of Sean's, or you've just listened to this podcast or watched him on YouTube for a while, you will know that Sean is a walking contradiction. <laughs> <laughs> because... He is the biggest procrastinator when it's something he doesn't want to do. But like I've said before, when he wants to do it, he's doing it guns blazing. <laughs> like today is a perfect example. <laughs> I where this is going. We don't know how we're getting to the airport um, on Boxing Day. We know we're going down to see Sean's family on Boxing Day. We haven't figured out any logistics behind it at all. But we're we've staying booked, on Boxing Day. <laughs> but we've booked the flight. 
We don't know who's getting us at the airport on the other side either. Oh, my sister is. We traded our McDonald's okay, for it. Fine. This is my older sister, not the one that can't put a jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the adult one, not the child one. <laughs> and even then, it's questionable. She's over at the age of 18. We don't sleep children on this, so. Uh, but, yeah, I, I was like, oh, well, I, You're I, like, oh, that's a good deal. Done. I'm like, Sean, yeah. how are we? Yes, Dad has offered, but also, <laughs> the flight's at 7 a.m., Dad. <laughs> Just to make you aware. It's like, no, it's, it's like, so we looked it up, and it's like, this is actually, we're, we looked we're at, talking about this in the queue for McDonald's today while we're waiting for our menu to, our, our number to come through like, how are we getting down and we're saying oh we can hire a car we looked up hiring a car and it's like a thousand pound to hire a car for like a week, a week over Christmas and yeah. drop it off in two locations Scotland yeah. and England which and is like, a big ask because it is going from Glasgow to London but it's like oh that's, that's, that's too much mm -hmm. so we looked at different sites we're like, no, it's about, we got it down to about 600 quid for hiring car fact, I got it 500 yeah yeah and it's like no that's too much but that was us dropping it in Milton Keynes and, and then, then figuring out how to get back from Milton Keynes. And then we looked at trains and the trains don't run on bank holidays and we're like, well, yeah, it runs the next day, but we've done the trains. We're on bank holiday. Oh, sorry, uh, Boxing Day, sorry, I meant. Public holiday. Public holiday. Uh, but it's, it's not running that day because it's Boxing Day and it's like... Fair enough, they deserve the day off. And we've done that trip before on the train and it's a whole day. It's, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's five and a half hours. As much as, yeah, and then obviously... Once we get to London, it's then another hour, yeah, hour and a half. Yeah, and it's like, it's, it's a long day and it's like... We've the flight's got, like an hour. And we know that what, what we're taking down because we've got literally what we're going to take and travel in us, one big backpack each. Yeah. And maybe a hand luggage bag for... Yeah, because we've found out that um, we're going to be here again. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah. As of... Oh, yeah. Well, next is... Next year. Next year, yeah. So we, we'll, we'll be back here again. Log log logistically, we've got things everything planned like we've got everything planned that's happening in the new year onwards anything that's happened within the next six weeks yeah it's... your guess is as good as mine yeah we're, we're good until we get to um well as soon as we get to my home we... we're fine yeah we're, i'm more than happy yeah. we, we, we can get all the way around we get all the way to we okay. haven't sorted anywhere to stay for our birthdays which is the end of next month yeah it's my 30th and we're going back i expect Scotland. gifts <laughs> Send them to <laughs> Keswick Post Office. <laughs> yeah, just, just leave us a message and we're going to pick them up. Yeah. Keswick Post Office. Um, yeah, <laughs> we know what date we finish work here. So basically, anywhere between the eighteenth of December to the twenty sixth of December, we're going to be in some sort of like. Um, what's the word? Poetry? In the middle of No. <laughs> Not going to purgatory. <laughs> oh, Sean. Um, limbo would be the, limbo, the correct was. phrase. <laughs> no, just in the middle of everything. That's your way. Okay, I didn't realise I was just going to yeet you off. <laughs> in the, sorry, Sean. <laughs> You're not coming back next year. I am. <laughs> it's only room for one of us in this room. Shrozing as cat. Shrozing as cat. I don't know if I'm going to be dead or alive. <laughs> I'm surprised you even know what Schrodinger's cat is. I've watched Big Bang Theory enough to work it out. <laughs> well, yeah, so... I can smell dinner. Yeah, you've got dinner cooking. In Sausage here. castle on, yeah, that's on nice. the hob. Again, she's cooking dinner right there. That's no perk. Um, and the fact that we're recording this, it's... So what's hilarious is Sean says I'm cooking dinner I literally just bunged everything in a pot and went nee, bring it up to the boil leave it put it on I'm, I'm and it'll be done when I'm finished who did more cooking me or you because I opened up two tins <laughs> wow <laughs> you literally empty tins into a pot I had to open the tin so I think maybe I actually cooked more than you today so uh -huh. I back to dinner okay so yes so that was uh, I'm a little bit hurt from this week's so, um Travel, travel to don't really know what we're going to tell you next week because it's currently Wednesday. We're off again tomorrow. Yeah. And um, uh, then we're back off again on Monday, Tuesday. So we've so. actually got some time off so we can actually go some travelling somewhere, even though we're trying to save a bit of money because obviously we've got a big travel around here, Asia, Australia, and all the big world trip coming up next year. So we're trying to save as much money, but we do want to still do travelling now. So it's quite fun. You'll probably hear that we went to Keswick or Penrith or Wendemere. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is why when we come back here, we're probably going to get a car. So next year, you'll actually get proper adventures where we go places. <laughs> it's funny, when we get a car, it's like, eh, yeah, I'll drive, it's nothing. Well, I don't even drive. <laughs> yeah, no, but like, we can get anywhere. Like, I have to be GPS, though, when Sean's in the car, because... So if I had a car right now, I, we were talking about it earlier, if I had a car right now, it's a four or five hour drive back to my home in Essex. And it's two and a half it's to It's two for you. So if we had two days off in a row, we could easily get... To one or the other, yeah. And that's that's the whole country, really. Mm -hmm. To be fair, like, <laughs> it's not... There's a lot of Scotland that you're ignoring, but not a lot of England left. There's, there's not a lot of population up there, so it's fine. No, <laughs> it's <laughs> true. It's so not true. It's <laughs> No, to be fair, it's quite a lot of all we can go I don't know see. if any of my, co my cousin that lives in Lossie watches this, so if she does, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who insulted her, not me. She has a chuck toggle. Oh, wow. So is her husband. Wow. <laughs> anyway. It's not an insult. It's simply stating facts. They live above the Highland line. So they're just now a tractor because. A tractor. <laughs> a tractor. <laughs> Mm, they're not a tracker. A tracker? <laughs> they're a tractor. A tracker? No, they're, they're, they're tracker, they're from Waterfolk. See, the simple joys that I get just now with work is when a Scottish family come in and we can communicate in eyes and nose. <laughs> <laughs> and there's just a, there's an understanding. It was, um, one of our colleagues was, actually it was um, Big Boss yeah. was in. And she seen me talking to a Scottish, like, what? <laughs> It's the greatest thing ever if you see two Scottish people that haven't don't are not in Scotland. They run over to it. Doesn't they matter whether they're like, best them. friends. So like <laughs> in Scotland, it's like that's because nah. Even if they're from Glasgow, it's like now nah, you're from that side what of Glasgow. Nah. <laughs> if you're in Scotland and it's two people from Glasgow and one person from Edinburgh, the two Glasgow people were friends, but not the person from Edinburgh. But if they're outside of Scotland, it doesn't matter where you are in Scotland as long as you're from Scotland. It's like when we were down at your friend's wedding. Yeah. In July. Yeah, it just like you were like. And uh, it turns out she's from like a half an hour drive away from where I grew up, yeah. and they thought we were related. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you can't she had an Ayrshire accent as well. I'm like, can you really not tell that much about that? Like, he's just Scottish. There's just an angry Scottish person. There's very de definite and different accents oh, in Scotland. Oh, I like onions. And that's not one of them. <laughs> that is not one of them. <laughs> Right, so um, let's move into this week's um, Get In Touch with the podcast. No um, one's got in touch yet again, because you are all poor. Sure. So to get in touch with the podcast, you need to uh, message us on our Instagram channel, it, which is... The name of the podcast, plus podcast at the end. Uh, again, for Our the, email address is the name of the podcast, with podcast at the end. <laughs> and um, you can either write on the video on the Funny Backpacker or our TikTok tra channel, the Funny Backpacker. Um, anyway, if you're not in contact with us, then... Um, We've got nothing to talk about at the end, but don't worry. Basically, they just want to listen to us ramble because there's still people listening to this, yet they're not writing in, so... Maybe they don't have... We're going to lose content and fast here, guys. <laughs> we've, we've got to fill this out until, um, well, Sean, Yeah, Sean's... No, <clears throat> Sean's put me on a tight schedule of, like, f we're filming this this day, we're getting three videos up a week. When right, we're so we're away, right? So this is the schedule, guys. So we're going to leave. But, but you see, Sean used this scheduling when we were in Europe and it got to about Greece, which was about three weeks in, and he confused the life out of himself because he couldn't decide whether he, was, whether he was editing or uploading that day. <sighs> that was hard, but I got it. <laughs> so this is how we're going to be on a two-week delay. Right, so everything for you guys stops, but for us, we just keep... We're filming. having a Christmas break, basically. You guys have Christmas break. We're not. We're still filming during that yeah. time. So there'll be a two weeks break and then we'll come back... And if you're listening to us on the podcast, it just seemed like there's no break. But for us, for you guys, there actually was. Yeah. And we're, our first episode will be talking about our, sort of, our travels to Australia. And then you get a video about Melbourne. And then you get a video about Perth. And then a video about Albany. And then podcasts in between. And we'll be talking on the podcast, talking about our week. Which is already And we need to figure out logistics of this because we're staying with family members. Yeah during that time as well so yeah podcast I, I think uh, when we're in Albany I think I should interview my grandparents <laughs> they've got they must have travel troubles themselves because they are their really... travel troubles are going to be understanding what I say <laughs> especially your granddad he's already he's already said she talks too fastly she needs to slow down <laughs> but trust me being someone from the central belt of Scotland 
I talk slowly. <laughs> What I mean about their travel troubles was the fact that they actually... Oh, they've moved all the way to the other side of the world? Yeah, they moved from England to Australia. Huh? So, And they retired out there, so I'd love to hear. <laughs> they left one English town for another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so I think that's it for this week. Um, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, so... Mm. So I'll see you again... Next Thursday. See you next Thursday, and I uh, will see you again... Soon. Soon. Oh.